Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In my last video, I said I would make a few more videos on group by, group by functions in pandas. But before that, I thought I should make at least one video on lambda. Uh, lambda and map filter and sorted function with it. The reason is simple. First is they're very useful and I'm going to use them a lot in my future videos. So I thought I should at least make one videos to show how to use them. You, uh, I'm sure a lot of you already know them. If you know them, please skip it. Or if you don't, uh, please stay with me. Uh, and if you want to practice with me, please, please feel free. If you already know it and still want to practice, that's also good. So let's start with defining a simple function add and return x plus y okay now call x y 9 i want to make this same function using lambda okay so add lambda x y x plus y Okay, now call 4, 5 again, 9. So do you see, it's just in one line, you can do the same thing as this. Now, let's work on some lists. I have three lists, A, B, and C. Now see what happens if I call add or add one and pass list, list A and B instead of two integers. Okay. It adds. It adds two lists and make a bigger list. Uh, make a bigger list of all the elements of this two list. What about I want the element wise addition? Okay. Normally the way we do element-wise addition, we use a for loop. The for loop uh, and do the element-wise addition. Uh, like uh, like this. For i in range 0 then a then rest at append a i b i AI plus BI. Okay. So this, you go through all this code to just simply add A and B. So instead, we can use map. We can use map, then just call function here, then pass A and B. See, it gives the same result. Instead of using this much code, I just put a simple one line. Isn't it nice? It's even nicer when you use map and lambda both. How? Let me see. X, Y. X plus Y. Okay. Here I define the function. Okay. X, Y and then X plus Y. You can see the same thing. And then you pass A and B list a and list b okay see it gives the same function i mean same result we didn't have to make the function separately we made the function and call it in the same line in in fact you can add as many parameters as you want x plus y plus z a b and c so it adds a b and c list a b and c all of them together also now if you want to instead of just doing a, a plus b plus c if you have to do a formula like 2x plus 2.5 y plus z give them some space so it looks nice okay 2x plus 2.5y plus z 
and we pass A, B, and C. Look, we get 2A plus 2.5B plus C here. Now, let's see how, what we can do with filter. What about, I want to see uh, in this list, this C, how many uh, elements are bigger than five? Okay. Lambda x greater than five. Then you pass C. C. X greater than five, we have only two, seven and nine. Here two fives, but we don't add five because it's x greater than five, not greater than or equal to five. Again, if you want, we can get something like x modulo two zero. So we are getting here uh, uh, the even numbers, okay? We are passing list B and this, this will return all the even numbers in list B. Look, look, it's two and four. We have only two even numbers in list B, right? What about in list C? List C, we have only one. List A, list A, we have three, okay? So we have been using only integers and list of integers. Now let's use a list of strings. Let's use list of strings. Here we have all the names. Now filter out everything and keep only the names with A. Okay, list filter lambda x x0 a okay oh we have to pass names see all the names only with a's so what we are doing lambda x x0 x0 means the first letter of x okay so only the first letter when you are saying when only A is the first letter, you are going to return only that once. Okay. Again, if you want something, if you want at least this first letter is not A, you just exclude the names with A. So here are the list where you get all the names except these five names where the first letter is A. Now, what about sorted? I said I'm going to show you how to use sorted as well. So, sorted. How can you sort? Let's sort with the first letter of each name. Okay? When you do sorted, you first put the first put your input input is names okay and then the key the key that you are going to um, the key that you are going to sort on we're going to sort on the first letter of each string so x zero see this is sorted all A's, then B, C, J, R, S is sorted by first letter. All right. Okay. Now let's work with a dictionary. Actually, not dictionary. It's actually a list of dictionary. So it's a list of dictionary. And we have four dictionaries here. Uh, each dictionary... Uh, includes information about a child, the name and age. Okay. Now, instead of the dictionary, what if I want the list of names only? Okay. List map lambda x 
x name and now it has this dictionary the list of dictionaries see here we just got the list of names so see we pass x name same as if we want to get the list of h here is the list of h 12 10 13 9 what about i want to have the list of uh, h sorted see i got it sorted okay okay uh, now look this sorted list of h probably doesn't make much sense it would probably be more informative if I could get this whole list uh, with sorted age, right? So, I mean, whole list sorted by age. Let's do that. Sorted date A. When we use sorted, as I said, you if we want to get the whole thing, key equals lambda, lambda x. This key means, actually, this key means that we pass a key, it, uh, that key will be used to sort, okay? So, we want to do xh, right? Look, it is sorted by age. 9, 10, 12, 13, see, it's sorted by age. Now, if you want to return if you want to get the youngest child you just return the zero it's give you the war minus one it gives you the oldest child 13 Stephen Stephen is the oldest child okay and here we uh, uh, sorted it by in ascending order. What if I want it in descending order? Bigger to smaller. It's very simple. Just reverse goes to true. Okay. So it comes descending order. All right. All right, the next I want to use these files. I want to sort this list of files by this uh, extension. Here, this first one is the name of the file and this one is extension. Okay, sort it, uh, put files, then use key, lambda x. Now, what do you do? X dot split. Okay, x dot split. Uh, okay, x dot split with dots. And then you grab the last piece. Okay, probably I will show you. What x dot split does okay probably use this one control c so this is one dot split if i split by this dot how it returns it returns a list that returns the before the part before dot and the part after dot so it, it gives you the this two element list so that's what it does An x dot split dot I mean, when you do it plot the each of them will be divided by this way and then you grab the last portion of the list okay so look now we sorted it 
by the file extension AA, then BAT, then CAD, and then DOC. So, all right, that's all for today. I hope this was useful. And if you like this video and uh, want to get more of this, more of this kind of video, please like, comment, and subscribe to support me and stay with me. Thank you so much. I will come back uh, hopefully by the end of this week with another video. Uh, and I will do it using the group by this time. I promise. Thank you so much.